Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be talking about first impressions of the new season, Season of the Chosen. And I had to like stop myself because I wanted to do this like literally hours when I was playing the game. But I was like, I'm gonna give it a little more time. I think I don't think that's a, a fair assessment considering like I'm really having a lot of fun, but I wanna see everything first. So I'm pretty much done with my hunter. I've literally done almost everything I can do with him. I'm on my alts now doing stuff. So I think this is a perfect time for me to really delve into how I feel about this season so far. Again, this is not a full review. This is first impressions, but first impressions, let's go on with the activity. So before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video so the activity in my opinion is actually a lot better than pretty much any public event that we've ever had so i will i am the i'm 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 in the camp that is anything that's match made is far superior to anything that's like not so the fact that it's match made is already 10 times better it literally makes me happy because if this was not match made this would be a fucking nightmare and bungie keep doing match made activities i understand why you would like to do public event type of activities but they're bad like at least let us tr like have a matchmaking method to it but the fact that this is match made and the actual activity is fucking fun like it's non-stop fighting and it's fun there are like mechanics here and there but they're not like super like demanding it's literally just kill enemy enemy drops orb and then throw orb at battery that's really it so this is like bare minimum mechanics and it's a lot of fun. I I am a big fan of the the areas as well. My only gripe is that Europa has no new area. I would have loved loved to see them like I don't know, maybe use a uh, part of the raid. So if you guys don't know, at the end of the raid or before you fight the boss, the the like space station actually comes down and like fucks up the whole area. I would have loved to see uh, the cabal right there next to some sort of like broken down piece of equipment that they were trying to get from, you know, Deep Stone Crypt. And that's where we fight them. I would have loved to see that, but instead we got them where we got them. And again, like, me personally this is a small thing i get that but i just feel like it would have been better because that way they could have used the raid area and they could have done a little bit more again again like this is just me being super nitpicky because when i did the when i did the europa one i was like oh cool no new area okay that's whatever like the activity is still fun so i'm not really that bothered by it and the reason i bring this up is because on nessus immediately when i landed i was like oh okay so like i know this area like whatever like I, hopefully the activity is fun but once we completed the activity and then we get to the next area i actually was confused where we were at i was like where are the where are we i'm confused like this should be where uh Callus's ship is from the menagerie and then lo and behold it it, it is there but I'm guessing the like the the tank thing that the cabal brought destroyed all of that portion or you know bulldozed all that area because now it's just a new area and I fucking love it. I was like this is cool. This is exactly what you do. Like I'm not asking the whole thing to be new. I'm just asking a portion of it to have a new flavor because that's definitely reusing assets in a good way because not only are you reusing a portion of the map but you're actually evolving it into the season i love it i'm a big fan of it so bungie this is this the nessus one specifically is a great job i really wish that you had done the same thing for europa 
because then I would have lost my mind a little. Or even just reuse the raid map. I think the raid map would have been a better choice to be quite honest, but that's neither here nor there. Overall, I like the activity. The, let's, let's talk about the weapons actually. The weapons are fire. Rocket launcher buff is actually good. I'm happy that I was wrong about that because I've been using rocket launchers a lot more and I haven't been using swords at all, mostly because like I'm really low level and I'd rather not just die all the time. But even still, like I could probably still see myself using rocket launchers because they're just that much fun. But when it comes to like high level activities, I still don't use them. I'm just a little too paranoid for that. But weapon wise, dude, this season is slapping. It, there's so many great weapons that it's making me excited. Uh, let's talk about the Umbral Ingrams uh, and their system. I think it's cool. I think it's a little too convoluted, especially when we get to like different characters. So for example, I did not get an Umbral Ingram because you get a free one from from the initial mission or the, the initial quest. You get a free one to like uh, calibrate the, the decoder. I didn't get one for my Titan or my Warlock. I had to do activities and whatnot outside so that way I could do it. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just Bungie like giving you one free one and then not to the other characters. That way people wouldn't delete their character and do that, I guess. I don't even know anymore. If that's the case, I get that. I just would have liked it if they told us because I was there just getting fucking mad because I'm like, dude, I can't do any of the well, like I can do any of the activities, but I can't do like the hammer thing. I can't do this. I can't do that. And ultimately, I was getting really fucking heated, but ultimately, it's not that big a deal. I I like at one point I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to play the game because uh, I need to level up. And then I got an um, um, Umbral Ingram and then that just kind of fixed it. So there that happened. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I love, I love the helm. I think it's cool. I had, think it has a lot of potential to become more. I will have definitely have a video explaining my thoughts on that because I really, really have a lot of thoughts about that. Like it reminds me of the, the menagerie room i forget what it's called but the, the the place where we used to test our weapons that it reminds me of that but more of a player housing thing like i could see them expanding on it and giving us rooms basically being our own command room but sl slash like housing for like players and Personally, I would love it, but let's talk about that in another video. We're definitely going to talk about that because I'm really excited for it. But yeah, overall, I love I'm liking this season. I'm hopeful that this season is going to be pretty fire. If it's if it uh, follows the same suit as last seasons, then this season should be really good because season of dawn was really good i think the activity was fire i think the weapons were fire i'm still sad that i destroyed most of them except trophy hunger because i said i wasn't going to destroy trophy hunter i love that weapon too much to do that but this season should be really really good and again if it follows suit next season will be bad but i'm hoping and i don't know why i'm hoping because i know bungie's track record but I'm hoping next season isn't as bad as season of the worthy because we definitely don't need that again. And to be quite honest, I'm kind of tired of them following the same formula for everything. And if you guys don't know what I mean by that is literally when destiny one came out, we had D D destiny one come out really bad. And then we had an okay. Well, for me, it was okay, but people will say, uh, the Dark Below was a shitty DLC. I don't know why. And then we had the House of Wolves, which was an okay DLC. But then we had the Taken King, which was a fire DLC. Like it, it was, it was damn. I personally think it was the best out of everything, even Forsaken. I love Forsaken, but I still think Taken King was the best. And then we had Destiny 2, 
and it came out really bad <laughs> really fucking bad and then we had one shitty dlc and then a, a better sh shitty dlc and from there we had forsaken which was like great dlc fast forward to shadows or uh shadow keep we had shadow keep and season of the undying which season of the undying was pretty bad and then shadow keep was pretty bad as well if i'm gonna be completely honest then we had season of dawn which was fire and then we had season of the worthy which was the opposite of that it was like dog shit and then we had season of the arrivals which was i think was good i think overall people enjoyed it i think people enjoyed it more because of how bad season of dawn was which is what i think is happening now if i'm being quite honest because beyond light and season of the hunt were pretty pretty terrible uh beyond light was better i'm I, I will give it this beyond light was better than shadow keep but it was still not what we expected so that's why i say like if this follows the suit of the other seasons then next season will be bad and then the season after that will be good so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know what you guys think about this season. I'm personally enjoying it. It's a lot of fun, personally. I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, the first day when the season came out, I actually played for 12 hours straight. And I have not done that. Ooh, man. It's been... It's been... Oof. Maybe... See... Uh, maybe since Beyond Light, when I was doing the raid race, maybe... But that was specifically for a raid race, so I like. There's no raid race happening now, but I t I played 12 hours because I was like, I'm enjoying my time right now. I was having fun. I even played Gambit, bro. Like that's how much that's how much I I was enjoying the time the time. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will be doing more videos. Oh man, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos, a bunch of tutorials, a bunch of guides, just a bunch of stuff. So I will see you guys later.